Hello everyone, welcome back to New Vegas. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the new weapons and armor mods from the Nexus website. If you like what you see, just head on over there and try them out for yourselves, and I really hope you do because we have some fantastic mods for you here today. First we have the classic Pancor Jackhammer by Listener and the classic Fallout Arsenal team. People may remember this particular shotgun from Fallout 2, and that's because the CFA team plan on remaking every single weapon seen in Fallout 2 for the use in New Vegas and Fallout 4. Now that is dedication. It's a custom mesh and texture and in my opinion looks really well done, and I did enjoy fighting my way around the wasteland with it. This is currently a beta weapon, but we can expect updates in the future. It takes a 12 gauge round and has a 10 round capacity and does just enough damage to do away with your target in just a few shots. Also, it seems the CFA are currently looking for scriptures and texturers to help them create this arsenal, so head on over to Nexus if you're interested and get in touch. Next is the WA-101 Tactical Shotgun by Ansar TGB, a custom mesh and texture that I fell in love with the moment that I fired it. It takes a 12 gauge cartridge and gives 80 damage and can hold up to 10 rounds. It also includes custom sounds and 3 weapons modes. The model itself is an incredible piece of work and the texturing really proves the author's astounding talent as a modder. The mod author has informed everyone that if you do experience crashes when applying the mods, you should download the weapons mod menu by Pelinor, sorry if I'm not saying that correctly, and that should sort most of your problems out. So check that out and I will put a link to that in the description. Mods for this weapon include a silencer, an ECOG scope, and an extended magazine that gives you an additional 10 rounds of ammo. So this will now be my secondary weapon after my light machine gun and I do look forward to using it a lot more. We also have the Plasma Carbine by Pineapple Surprise. This is essentially a mashup of plasma and laser rifle parts crafted into a stunning new weapon with automatic fire that shoots plasma rounds. My only problem with it is that you will only see the plasma projectiles appear at a certain distance, leaving the space in the middle virtually blank. Other than that, it's a fine piece of machinery. Like the other firearms, it's beautifully crafted and this one comes with its own blinking light animation on the front and makes energy weapons stand out from the rest. I've used this against multiple types of enemy and so far it hasn't disappointed or glitched. Despite only giving 16 damage, combined with this automatic fire, I can pack a mean punch. Finally, we have the Ranger Longcoat remodeled by Paha989. This is a recent armor mod that changes the Ranger Longcoat and Riot gear for the shorter alternatives. It looks good and maintains the same damage resistance as the long versions. This is a standalone version for use with the main game plus Honest Hearts and Lonesome Road DLCs, but there are non-DLC versions available, as well as a replacer version that will completely overwrite the vanilla versions with the new ones. It's stylish and looks good, and the reason I downloaded it was to give myself the shorter option to the Elite Riot gear that I always wear. So that's it for this week guys. This might be a weekly video depending on how many weapons and armor mods are actually released, so hopefully we can get maybe a few of these videos out each month. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon.